you did this yesterday and you did three, four work yesterday unintentionally. Now today you're going to come in and instead of looking at today as something where you're going to have to fight zone three, four on power cleans and double unders. Yeah, you just did that. Right. You could then say, okay, today I'm going to take the intention and keep this in a two, three. So then maybe today's power cleans are not at the 135 prescribed, but maybe you do them at 95 right. and then you figure out how to do your dubs from there. These would all be things that if you're, you know, autonomous and you don't necessarily, you know, you, you completely can read your body and listen and understand what the intent of things are for the whole week right. and you know what's going on and like, but that's why we energy system train. It's so that we do cover every absolutely. single energy system and we actually get better at athletes and we don't just spin our wheels until we break and then take time off and then do the same thing. Absolutely. It's important to note that just because you chose to do it at a higher intensity, it isn't necessarily bad, mm -mm. but you're, you know how to balance that. Or yeah. like, it would only be bad if I did that every day. Yeah. Cause now then that's a whole nother podcast of, of talking about, you know, what used to be considered sweet spot training, you know, um, where everything ended up, you know, everybody was trying to run or, or do everything in the sweet spot. And that's where you're pulling right. a big term that we used. And, and that's yeah. where everything feels really good. It's not overly taxing, but it, it feels like you're really like training. And that's oh, the yeah. thing is I felt like I was training yesterday. Some days, you know, zone two and three, you're kind of like, oh, I don't, it doesn't feel like I'm doing anything. When actually like you're, you're yeah, right. It's kind of boring and it doesn't, you get done and you're like, oh, I feel like I didn't even do anything. That is beautiful work, you know? So, um, not go play. You know, not go play. exactly. Spend the rest of your day living your life and, and being awesome and not trying to recover from the BS that you just put yourself through. Right. right? So, you know, if, if you're only doing sweet spot training, you're just using what you got. You're not, and that's kind of the intent of that, that, that podcast we just recorded is we, we, you've got to spend time doing the slow, boring, easy work if you want to get faster in the sweet spot. Right. And that's the important thing is like, you knowing now that you trained higher yesterday so that yep. you are going to do today zone two work and you will do whatever it takes. Correct. Correct. So, I mean, I guess that's a good way to kind of end this, Kate, to just give people like, Hey, like you said, Hey, if you screw it up, not a big deal unless you're screwing it up every day. Yeah. You know, just have some awareness that like, oh, I mean, I kind of went kind of hard yesterday and you know, like you need to, to, you know, the term recovery, you know, there's a whole podcast there too, but like the term recovery, it's thrown around like it's like, it's less. Well, I bet you don't feel like you need to recover from what you did. You loved what you did. You felt good. You felt strong today. You feel great. So Correct. you need I, to look at how you're going to make adaptions instead, not recover. Yeah, there you go. Because that's exactly right, Kate. Cause I don't feel like I need to recover and I wouldn't like, I don't, I'm not sore. I'm not stiff. None of that. But no. what I do need to recover, what I do need to go back in, in, improve my fat pull because I didn't, I, I probably damaged my ability to pull fat yesterday, actually. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, 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 I need to recover my ability to, to do work at a slower, um, or metabolically, I, you told your body that that was the pace to go. And this is the fuel that you need to do this. Correct. And so your body adapted and said, fine, we can do this now over time. Again, like I said before, if you did that same workout every single day, Mm -hmm. after a manner of doing it X amount of times, you would be better at it and your heart rate would be lower. It's the same idea of when you gave the example of biking or running. Mm -hmm. You know, you go out and run a mile. The first time you run it, your heart rate's at 200 beats. By the third week, it's at 190 beats. By the eighth week, it's at 175 beats. It's the same mile. It's the right. same pace. Eventually, you adapt. Right. We just have the ability to know oh. where you should be training to. Eventually, adapt. you adapt, assuming that you're strong enough mentally and and you're eating well enough and all of those other things that we, we don't take into account because, or like running is a great example because <laughs> running is hard. You know what running I mean? Is the, but, you know, literally your body goes into an adrenaline fueled fight or flight running. Um, for, thing. for many, running. right? For, um, yeah. It's just physiologically. That's what but, it is. You have to train yourself to be calm, to do it. Right. But if, if you just go out and run and you go run for 20 minutes. Let's just use easy 20 minutes. And, and I, I'll use my own self again, but like in your, in your running out there at 170 beats, 
for 20 minutes, it's hard. So if you're going to make yourself do that for three weeks until you can finally go run at 140 beats, you're going to have to be mentally tough because you're talking yourself into going to punish yourself every day for 20 minutes or three times a week, whatever it is. And, it, and it's just not like, and then you're tired afterwards, your, your hips get a little sore, your back gets sore. It, it, it's, it's, or you become unmotivated. I mean, that mental toughness, a lot totally. of people, you know, but then it's becoming unmotivated to go and do something over and over again. So let's use this workout. Eventually you're going to be like, I don't want to do that same workout anymore. It's boring. Well, that's because that's a sign that it's just not becoming easier fast enough. Right. right? Yeah. I, I can tell you, like, although yesterday was relatively perceived exertion, easy of the, the push press and stuff. Like if you were to say, Max, go do that again, just like yesterday, I'd be like, oh man, I don't really want to push that weight over my head like that again. Like, right. would, could I do it? Yes. Could I do it every day for the next three weeks? No, I would say I'm not doing that again today. That's too hard. Like I, I it, it's too heavy. I would be. Well, you know, your body would give you another sign. You would eventually have to, you would fill with enough inflammation doing that over and over and over and over again that you would get sore. Now, the cool thing about CrossFit and our training is that we can train different things, you know, like the next day is not going to have those same muscle groups training in the same way so right. that you can adapt to what you did yesterday by doing something different today and tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow. That's perfect. Um, yeah. Great way to end that, Kate. That's great.